Good morning. Welcome to Singapore. I hope that uh, those of you visiting Singapore get the chance to explore this wonderful garden city in Lee Kuan Yew's words. We have more than 200 crypto companies who have a presence here in Singapore. I really firmly believe that Singapore has all the ingredients to become a crypto hub and build the future of finance. So if you don't have a presence here, this is a good time to connect with the local community here and to explore Singapore as a place to set up an office, if not your headquarters. Singapore is Nonsense headquarter. And I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. I'm going to be talking about three things in this presentation. Firstly, I will talk a bit about why we started Nansen. Secondly, the big news, I'll talk about Nansen 2, which is the biggest product upgrade in Nansen's history. And lastly, I have a bit of an announcement at the end and a call to action for you. We built Nansen because we realized that crypto is an insanely noisy space. It is very difficult to stay on top of everything that happens in crypto. And our big idea was that the best source of information, the best source of signal, and the best source of alpha was to look on the blockchain itself, to look at on-chain information. And we believed that with our product, we could help you get less noise and more signal. But why does this matter? In a broader context, we believe that if we can surface the signal and we can help the pioneers of crypto, that is you guys who are investing and building in the crypto space, succeed and become winners, then you'll help grow the entire space and the future of finance truly becomes a reality and not just a meme. This is how everything fits together. That's why we built Nansen. That's why we get up in the morning to help surface the signal and create winners and then the future of finance will become a reality. We've been quite successful helping create winners. This is an example of Mev Collector. Some of you might have seen his Twitter thread. It's quite iconic where he talks about how he turned 11 ETH into 862 ETH and Nansen was his most used tool for that. Of course, he's the hero. He's the Batman. We're just a Batmobile. But he used Nansen as his main tool. I spoke with Brain Yield, who told me that she was able to convert $800 invested in crypto to over $1 million, And Nansen was essential in making that happen. Here's a DeFi fund that was able to withdraw liquidity from the curve pools when UST collapsed. And as a result, they saved tens of millions of dollars. So we've had some success in helping create winners, but now we want more on-chain pioneers to win. And that's why we created Nansen 2. With Nansen 2, we've built the product from the ground up, everything from the data pipelines, the database technology we use, the back end, the front end, and even the design. Everything is new. And we did this because we saw that we needed to create a radical improvement in performance, but also in user experience. And we needed a way for us to ship new features faster. I'm showing you this photo of an iceberg for two reasons. The first one is I only have 15 minutes in this presentation. So I can only show you the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what Nansen 2 has. We have more than 100 different improvements we've made to the product. I can't cover them all, but I'll try to focus on a few that you'll hopefully remember. The second reason I'm showing you this photo is because this is how I think about the user experience for Nansen 2 and one of the design principles. We want to bring our users in. You see the tip of the iceberg first, which is manageable, and then we carefully reveal the powers of the product as you get more familiar with it, as you personalize the experience, and you, as you slice and dice the data, getting more familiar with the product. So the first part that I think is the most important part of Nansen 2 
is the concept of faster alpha. Our users are crypto investors, on-chain investors, and we need to optimize for time to alpha. That's, at the end of the day, what truly matters. You want to generate alpha, and you want to generate it fast. And with Nonsen2, we have faster alpha in a few different ways. Firstly, the dashboards load 10 times, and in some cases, 100 times faster than they did in Nonsen1. That's a major improvement just in the user experience when you are trying out Nonsen2. But more broadly, the concept of faster alpha also has to do with the navigation and how you use the product. And so when you start Nonsen, when you open it up, you can slam Command K, and you get this incredible new search bar that we have created. Because when, it, when you talk about faster alpha and speed, it's not just about how fast the dashboards load. It's also about how you can go from A to B, from question to answer, from trade to profit, in the fastest possible manner. And with the search that we've built, you can look up anything you want on-chain. Tokens, NFTs, you can look up funds, DAOs, influencers, ENS names, wallet addresses, anything you want. But you can also use natural language to ask questions. Who are the top holders of Pudgy Penguins? To pick a random example of an NFT collection. You can look at why is Ethereum gas so high right now? And you can ask questions like this, and you will get answer. We'll point it to the right dashboard, or in some cases, we'll generate the query on the back end on the fly. I think that this is the beginning of the most powerful search for on-chain on Earth. And I'm super excited about this. Next, Nonsen2 is powered by AI. There's not one single AI feature. We have AI powering the whole product in many different ways. And AI is ubiquitous throughout the product. I mentioned an example now with search, which of course is GPT powered when you think about how we're able to communicate with it in natural language. You will also be able to filter tables and create smart alerts just with natural language. You express, these are the wallets that I want to track, and we'll translate that for you so you can monitor and, and filter for these different wallets and, and tokens and addresses, etc. So it's powered by AI, which really levels up the user experience another 10x from where we are today. This might be my favorite feature, to be perfectly honest. You can now create smart segments with Nonsen. What that means is many people know us from our labels. We have more than 250 million labels that we've created. Smart money, centralized exchanges, DAOs, funds, influencers, etc. But now you can create your own labels in a programmatic manner, but without having to code. You just specify what are the wallets that you want to follow. Are you looking at MEF whales? Are you looking at Unibot traders? Are you looking at DEX traders that have been profitable? Or w wallets that have minted certain NFT collections? You save them as your own smart segments. Now you can use these segments in your dashboards, in your alerts, etc. And this is part of a broader concept of personalizing Nonsen. So one of the principles that we have is that if everyone sees the same thing, it's no longer alpha. There's the concept of alpha decay. And so instead, what we've said is, we should help you personalize Nonsen and get your own unique perspective on the blockchain. And this allows you to succeed with your unique investment strategy. And we have a few more examples of this. When you navigate Nonsen, you can save different widgets that you come across that you care about for different tokens, NFTs, wallets, etc., to your home page. This makes it a lot easier to come back to the information that you truly care about, and you can get a much more sticky experience with that home page instead of seeing stuff that we think you'll be interested in. Another thing which is a major improvement is that we are combining two products. Nonsen Portfolio, which is the result of an acquisition we made last year of Apeboard. And the team from Apeboard have been instrumental in making Nonsen2 a reality. So we've taken Nonsen2, sorry, Nonsen Portfolio. We've taken Nonsen Pro, or the standard Nonsen product that people know. We've combined them. And now you can track your portfolio across 
all sorts of chains and also get analytics and insights in the same product. One very cool thing about this, by the way, is that when you have connected your portfolio or you've entered addresses that you want to track, we can now personalize other parts of information in the platform. And a new feature that we're launching is Signals. Signals is our way to push interesting information that we think you'll be interested in based on your portfolio, but also general events that are important for you to know about that are happening on chain. And you see some examples on the screen now where you can see trending tokens, you can see smart money buying or selling certain tokens, and you can see centralized exchange flows in and out, etc. But you can also see qualitative information. It's not just about quantitative and analytics. You can also monitor what people are saying about what's happening on the market, also powered by our incredible research team. So Nonsense 2 is a product that is faster than Nonsense 1, for those of you who have tried Nonsense 1. It is powered by AI, and it is fundamentally personalized, which changes the user experience. So the announcement I want to get to. Today, I'm very excited to announce that we're letting the first 1,000 early access users in to Nonsense 2. That means if you have an active Nonsense subscription, you will get an invitation. Uh, we're starting with 1,000 users. We'll be ramping that up over the next few days. And over the next weeks, we'll be onboarding a lot more users. I have a bit of an alpha leak for you here as well. If you haven't already signed up to our waitlist for Nonsense 2, the early access list, you can still do that today. And like I said, if you have an active Nonsense subscription, you'll be prioritized. There's actually more than 2 million verified users on our waitlist. If you have an active subscription, you'll be at the top of the list. And if you don't have a subscription, you can buy a subscription, and we'll bump you to the very top of the list so that you get access first. OK, I want to end on a note and take a step back and think a bit about the broader context here. It can be a little bit difficult to think about what are we actually, what are we actually doing here in crypto when crypto prices are going down and so on. But I personally really love the name of this conference, Token 2049, because it makes you think about the future. The year of 2049. That year, my daughter will be in her 20s. And from my perspective, I would love to see a future where she's not dependent on banks. I think humanity can do better than banks. I think we have a chance to build a better financial system in the future. And the year 2049 is a good way to visualize that. I think we can build a future that is more meritocratic, that is more efficient, and that is more transparent. And when you feel depressed because token prices are down, you're looking at your portfolio, it's important to keep this in mind and to see forward. I hope to see all of you at our booth, Level 5, P38. Thank you so much for coming, and enjoy the conference.